Hey Jack, what insect are we going to draw in this lesson? A ladybug. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. We're going to draw a realistic ladybug. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need something to draw with. We're going to use markers. You also need some paper and something to color with. All right, let's start. Yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> let's first draw a curve. We're going to draw it towards the top of our paper so that we have room for the bottom of the body. We're going to draw a curve like this in the middle of our paper towards the top. Yeah, and then we're gonna draw a we're gonna draw a curve that comes up on this side, and we're also gonna draw a curve that comes up on the other side too. Then we're gonna draw another curve that connects these two together. I think on a ladybug this is called a pronotrum. Yeah. I'm probably not saying it right. That's <laughs> okay. Let's draw the head next. We're gonna draw a curve that comes up over and then back down. Pronotrum. Pronotrum. <laughs> <laughs> then we're gonna draw the rest of the body coming down this way. We're gonna draw a big curve that comes down, around, and then we're gonna draw back up and then connect in. Big ladybug. Big ladybug. We're gonna take up all the paper. Good job. Okay, now we can draw, let's draw a line that comes down the middle and we're gonna leave a little split. So we're gonna draw another line coming down also, right next to it, but a, a little wider towards the bottom. Now I think this red shell that's on the top of the abdomen that covers the wings is called the what? Elytra. Elytra, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. We, we could be totally wrong. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Let's draw the antennas. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out, curves up. Then we're gonna draw a little oval shape at the top so it's thicker. Then let's do the same thing on the right side. We'll draw a little curve coming up and then a little oval at the end. What should we draw next? The legs. Okay, let's first draw one coming out right here. We're just gonna draw a short and skinny U. Then we're gonna draw a longer U or oval shape going up. Yeah, then we're gonna draw another one coming out to the side, coming back. And then we're gonna draw two little toes, two little hooks coming out of the foot. Okay, let's repeat that same step. Oh, you got it? Yeah. <laughs> now let's repeat the same step over here on the right side. We're gonna draw that short U shape first. Then we're gonna draw a longer one coming up. It kinda look more like ovals. And then we're gonna draw another one for the foot coming off to the side. And then let's draw those two little hooks for the toes. Now let's draw the middle leg. We're gonna draw it coming out this way. We'll draw that first short U shape coming out and back in. Then we're gonna draw another one that's longer aimed down. Then let's draw the foot. I think this is the foot. <laughs> and then we're gonna draw two hooks, but this time I'm gonna draw them going down, pointing down. All right, let's do the same thing on the right side. Let's draw that first part coming down and then the next longer shape coming down further. And then we're gonna draw the foot coming out to the side. And then those two hooks for the toes. All right, now let's add the last two legs. We're gonna draw one more small U shape coming down. And then we're gonna draw it coming down further. Then we can draw the foot coming out to the side, and then the two little toes. <laughs> All right, let's do the same thing over here. Just repeat the same steps. If we go too fast, remember you can always- Pause the video. Pause the video, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna draw the foot, and then the two toes. I like repeating the same steps. You get to practice. Yeah. What's our ladybug missing? Spots. Yeah, it's missing the spots. Let's first draw a big spot right here in the middle of the body. 
Then we're gonna draw two spots over here. It's okay if they're not perfect ovals. I don't think they're perfect ovals yeah. on the ladybug, right? Mm -hmm. Nature. So it can be a little wobbly. And I'm gonna draw another one over here. Next, let's add a smaller one or just a skinnier oval. This one's on the side of the body, so it's squashed. And then let's draw another one over here on this side to match. And then we can also add, let's add one down here. Now I'm squishing it just like we did for this one, but I'm also tipping it so it's more diagonal. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Now there's also white spots up here on the pronotum. Yeah. So we're gonna add those in too. This one's gonna be wobbly or wiggly, and we're gonna connect it up to where the head is. Then let's do the same thing on the other side, and I'm gonna try to make it match to look symmetrical on both sides. Then let's add two up here. I don't think this is for the eyes, but it looks like the eyes. Yeah. I'll add two ovals next to each other. All right, Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our ladybugs, or sometimes they're called ladybird beetles. Yeah. <laughs> it looks awesome, except it just kind of looks like a bug. Yeah. What do we still need to do? Color it. Yeah, we need to color it. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. All right, Jack, we did it. We finished coloring our ladybugs. I added some highlights with my white colored pencil. You kind of have that spot left right there. It makes it look a little more shiny with the highlight. Yeah. I'm adding more highlights to that pronotum area right here, this section, and then also on the head. This makes it look even more shiny. And I'm also gonna add little highlights on the legs. Oh, that looks really cool. Yeah, it does. We first used markers, and we're using the white colored pencil on top, but you could use whatever you have at home. You could use colored pencils or even crayons. You don't have to use the same supplies that we're using. If you are interested in using the same art supplies, the exact same art supplies, we have links below this video where you can head over to our website and learn more about them, and even ultimately over to Amazon to purchase We're also adding a shadow to the bottom of our ladybug. We're using a dark red colored pencil on top of the marker. Next, let's use our gray marker to add a shadow underneath the leg. So I'm gonna draw a shadow that kind of comes up and matches and then comes into the body. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Up, come in. This is gonna make it look like he's standing right on our paper. It's gonna look so cool. And then the last thing we're gonna do is add a shadow underneath the body. We're just gonna follow the shape and we're gonna add a gray shadow down here at the bottom. <laughs> that looks so cool. Oh, you know what else we forgot? We need to use a black colored pencil and add little hairs or little spikes on the leg. Yeah. Give me five. You did such a great job, Jack, on drawing your ladybug. Thank you. Did you have fun? Yeah, I had a lot of fun. I think this is the largest realistic ladybug I've ever seen. Yeah. Now you can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. It really wasn't that challenging. We colored the ladybug solid first and we used our white colored pencil and also our dark red to add highlights and shading. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your ladybug. Yeah, we do. I'm sure your drawings turned out super cool. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours because both of our drawings look different and they both turned out awesome. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.